sharks and over there is a shark. Oh my gosh, there's literally sharks. It's so sunny, but guys, this is the most turquoise water I've ever oh looked at in my life. Wow. All right, guys, where are we at? Bele Lagoon. Bele Lagoon. Um, I'm about to jump in again. I'm also gonna take my GoPro with you guys because I love y'all and I want you to have the best content ever. Here we go. Here we go. Wow, this is so incredible. Look at this, guys. Wow! I literally rented this boat out for the whole day for myself, by myself. And I'm happy our mom's here because at least I have him. I'm so extra. I love it. Okay guys, I am doing some kind of paddleboarding right now, I guess. What is life? Where even am I? This is so cool. Okay guys, we made it to Viking Cave. The amount of water I swallow while snorkeling is crazy. Guys, I saw so many fishies and jellyfish. She said the jellyfish are not dangerous and it, like if you get stung, it might be a little bit of pain. Every time I saw one, I was like, uh-uh. But now we're on our way to lunch and I don't want any more Thai food. I'm getting McDonald's. This is a strawberry coconut smoothie. Cheers. Not bad. That boat day was so much fun. I definitely recommend going island hopping while you guys are in Phuket. Anywho, I am back to Crest Resort Pool and Villas and I have a new room now. I'm in the deluxe suite and I want to show you guys. It's pretty much the same thing, just I don't have as nice of a view. My bag has totally exploded. Ignore that because I'm like in the process of repacking a bit since I leave tomorrow. But this is what this room looks like. And then you come over here. This is this bathroom. It's pretty much the exact same setup with the shower and stuff. I still have a bathtub. I still have the same counter space. I have a bed. This time they decorated it with little red flowers and it's a new elephant this time. My last elephant I named Ellie. This one I'm gonna name Edward. Edward and Ellie. Look at how cute this one is too. Uh, oh my gosh, I know the background's like, ooh. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, this one's so cute. I love it. The only other difference too is it doesn't have the big arc. And then I have this little couch. I have a nice TV over here. So as you guys can see, I mean you can't see because it's dark. I literally just don't have a view anymore. Down there, those are like the nice villas that I was in. Like the, the nice villas. This is still a nice house villa. The nicer, the nicest villas. But at this one, I like it because I have a much bigger balcony space and I have these chairs, which my last one did not have. However, if you, I don't know if it really matters because I don't really think you can get sun out here. I mean, maybe depending on where it's at, but look, I also have a pool still and this pool is bigger and it feels more secluded. The only difference, like I said, is really just the view and maybe the other one's a little bit bigger, but I'm literally a single woman. So I'm super we're excited and I'm gonna get some good sleep tonight. I'm not gonna go do anything. It's only like 8 p.m. I just ordered room service and I'm about to freaking get ready to go to bed soon. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit of work done and then tomorrow, honestly, I need to leave for the airport around 11 because it's an international flight. I have to be there by two. My flight leaves at 3 p.m. I'm done with Thailand. I've been here for a long time now. I feel like I'm good. I'm just gonna rest a little bit. Singapore, I'm only gonna be there for two days so I don't wanna be exhausted because I wanna make sure that I have energy to like not that there's really anything to do in Singapore. I literally have one thing I'm gonna do the, you guys will see when I get there, but I just wanna make sure that I'm not like exhausted when I get there. So yeah, that, this is honestly probably it for the Thailand vlogs. There's not really much else to say or do. Like I'm pretty much done. I guess my Thailand end and wrap is, well first before I actually get to that, I have something to say. I was at the pool tonight and this guy comes up. I was watching the sunset. It was absolutely gorgeous. And this guy comes up to me and he's like, you're so beautiful. And I'm like, thank you. Here we go. So this guy starts telling me about how he's a politician and his country. I'm not gonna say where, cause I, I'm not trying to have no shit come for me, but he's going off about how he's this politician, X, Y, and Z, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, you're beautiful in so many ways. I can tell just from an hour of talking to you, which we literally were in the pool for like 
10 minutes. So I'm like, all right, cool. But anyways, he starts just kind of going on and on. And then he goes, I've got something for you. I'd be right back. I'd be right back. And I'm like, okay. So he comes back and he has this little box. I'll actually show it to you guys. I haven't opened it yet. But he just brings it to me in the pool. Where is it? It's right here. I guess it's some perfume or something. I think it's from the air, the air, what's it called? The airplane now, Qatar airplane. I don't know, but he gave it to me. I think it's something he just like got for free and it's for women. So I'm like a woman and he gave it to me. He just got here today. So I'm like, all right, thanks. And at first when he gave it to me, I was like, oh, I thought this was sweets. Well, no, I was like, is this sweets? And he's like, no. And I was like, oh, I thought it was sweets. Like, what is it? And he's like, it's perfume. But if you want like sweets, I got sweets. And he comes back with like snacks and stuff. And I'm like, I don't trust anything. Like, how do I know that you didn't put drugs in these snacks? And he's like, you can come to my room. I blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'm not coming to your room. And he's like, no, you don't understand. I'm a big public figure, blah, blah, blah. I'm a politician. No one's gonna, like, I can't do anything to you because then people are gonna know. And I looked at him, I'm like, that's a perfect excuse for you to do something to me. I was like, I'm literally in the entertainment industry. You know how many big time people, politicians especially, do crazy scandalous shit because they think that they can get away with it? Or better yet, they use that to hang that over women's heads because he's probably like, oh, I'm so cool. I'm in politics. I'm a known person. This girl's gonna want me. And I'm like, bitch, I'm probably make more money than you shut up da damn, damn. <laughs> and i'm just like i literally said that to him i was like yeah that gives you all the more reason to be a shitty person and he's laughing he goes really really and i'm like yeah and he's like well i'm not dangerous and i'm like that's what every dangerous person says are you kidding i'm like i've known you for 20 minutes i'm not coming to your room so then he starts talking about just like i love to have a fun time blah 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 and i'm like well i don't want to have a fun time in the way that i already know this man's describing a fun time so i'm like yeah well you know i don't do drugs i've i i do not don't drink, I don't party, I hate partying, I don't do none of that. And he's like, me neither. And I'm like, okay, so then what's your definition of fun then? Like, what are you even talking about right now? And he's like, partying. And I'm like, like, what? You just said you don't do that. And now you're like partying. And he goes, I love beautiful women. I love to have fun with beautiful women. And I'm like, I can't wait to have fun with my husband. He goes, oh no, you're too young to say that. You're too young. You need to have experience and have fun. And I'm like, you think my definition of fun is just hooking up with all these bummy ass men? You wanna know what's fun? Is living my life, traveling the world because of all the work that I put into my life to be able to live it this way. And I don't want no man coming and disrupting my peace because anytime I get into an entanglement with a man, that's all y'all do. I was like, it's not fun to have a one night stand with a man. I was like, men and women, I think just view things very different. He goes, no, so many women love to have fun like that. And I'm like, yeah, okay, then go get them. Why are you sitting here trying to persuade me to get into your bed? You met me 20 minutes ago. It's just so mind boggling to me. Why can't you guys just leave women alone? I'm clearly not going to get in your bed. Yo, you gave me some perfume. That's cool. I literally am in a villa. That's my rant. I'm just so tired of it. Like, why can't men just be friends with women? Like, you can like, okay, yeah, I get it. Like, a lot of women are DTF. Cool. Whatever. But if you catch the vibe that I'm not interested in that, why can't you just be a decent human being and just like be friendly and like maybe you'll have a long-term friend or maybe you'll just have a travel friend or just someone you can have have contact with. I can have herpes for all you know. I don't, but you guys get what I'm saying. <laughs> also, like, I'm never gonna see him again. Like, what, what do you think like, why would I want to hook up with you? That doesn't interest me. That does not interest me. Sexual relations do not interest me. You want to know what interests me? What you got going on in here? Leave me alone, fuck. Anywho, anywho. I think that's about it for the Thailand vlog. We'll see if anything happens tomorrow, but I doubt it because I'm a sleepy girl. Okay, bye. Just kidding, I'm back. Before my ADHD set in, I was going to do a quick little Thailand recap. I just want to say thank you, Thailand, for such an incredible time here. I think the order of my favorite places that I've been was Chiang Mai, then Chiang Rai then Phuket and then Bangkok. I'm just not much of a city girl. You guys know that I love adventure. Phuket was just very, you know, beachy, but it's overpopulated as hell. And it's just very big, like party. I liked the boat and like the beaches. And it was like, I feel like I had the perfect amount of time here. I will say when I come back to Thailand, I feel like next time I'm just going to stick to more of the islands, like the Kofi Fi, Krabi type situation. I don't even know if I'll come to like the main areas. I'll probably just island hop. Cause there's a lot of like, I want to go to the places that like aren't touristy at all, you know, next time. Um, but beyond that, I love Thailand. I did have a lot of people tell me that if I loved Bali, I'd love Thailand more. And I think I touched on this a little bit, but I'm gonna be so honest with you guys. I don't feel that spark here. I feel like I would come back to Thailand if I was with a man and he really wanted to come here, but I don't know if I would personally just come back here on my own. I loved it here and I had a great time, but there's places I've been that I would rather go to, like Bali, for example. I'm so excited I'm gonna be in Bali in a couple days. <laughs>
<laughs> I think the favorite food I ate here was in Bangkok when I went to that floating market and I got that chicken pad thai from that local lady that was cooking it. All the rest of the pad thai I had was mid and it tasted like America, like just normal pad thai, but that lady made the best freaking, like it was so good, I can't explain it. Like it didn't even taste like pad thai, it literally tasted like mouthgasm. Oh, so good. I'm obsessed with lemon teas now. I found out I love coconut water. As for my favorite activity, I feel like when I'm thinking about my favorite activity, the only thing coming to my mind is the elephant. I loved that elephant. I did a lot of research, like I said, to make sure I found a good sanctuary that does not abuse them. I had such a great experience with that and I also loved the boat tour today. I think my favorite temple I went to, the hidden temple where nobody was there. And I think the most beautiful one in my opinion was the white temple. So that's kind of my quick little recap. All right, love y'all, bye. Take care of myself, no, I don't need that, need that And I won't change, cause who I am is who I wanna be, I